Hello stylers and welcome back to the Full Style Inc. YouTube channel. I am back. We are back. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the Full Style Inc. family. So moving right on, we're going to be using Simplicity Pattern number 8344 and we're going to be doing View D, which is a long sleeve off the shoulder bodysuit. So first you're going to need some snaps. You're going to need some um, half inch elastic some coordinating thread and of course your fabric I laid out my pattern first I cut out all of my pieces for a size 28 and 30 I did a little um, alteration on the size for to make it smaller at the top and wider at the bottom and I'm using this beautiful yellow floral print jersey knit that I picked up at Joann's for about eight dollars a yard and I have about three yards here I'm done cutting out all my fabric pieces I'm going to take the two back pieces which was cut on the double and not on the fold and I'm going to pin those right side together. Once that is pinned right side together, I'm going to take that and do a basic stay stitch down the back seam of the back panel. This is piece 13 in the um, of the pattern. I'm going to unfold that, lay that out flat, and then I'm going to take piece number 12, which is the front piece, and I'm going to lay that down right sides together, starting up at the armhole area, pinning that down the side seams before I go in and create another quarter inch stay stitch down the side seams. And don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and start of your seams. Once we have done that, we're gonna move on to our sleeves and I'm going to fold those in half. Those was both cut on the fold. And I'm going to put those right sides together. Don't forget to press your seams. Uh, I am finishing off the hem of my sleeve doing a simple roll and tuck hem. And I'm gonna take that in and do another stay stitch. Do another stay stitch around the perimeter of my sleeve. Now this is before I decided to add it the flare sleeve. If you are interested to see how I altered this pattern and added a bell flare sleeve to this long sleeve bodysuit, you can head on over to Four Star Ink Patreon page to find out more. After each seam, I go ahead and give it a nice firm press so everything is laid flat, nothing is bunching and curling on each other. I'm going to turn the sleeve inside, right side out, and I'm going to turn the garment inside in. I'm going to hold those two together with right sides facing. I'm going to pin all around the perimeter of the sleeve at the armhole, attaching that to the bodysuit. Once I have done that for both sleeves, making sure I match up the notches, I'm going to go in and do a stay stitch leaving about a 1 8 inch seam allowance and of course doing a back stitch at the beginning and start and pressing my seams now i'm going to take piece 15 which is the neck casing and i'm just making sure i have all my marks and my um notches in and i'm going to pin those two right sides together this was cut twice so it wasn't put on the fold and i'm going to do a stay stitch down each end of the casing which is going to make it a continuous loop instead of two long pieces
once I've done that I'm gonna go in of course and press my seams having the seam allowance lay flat and then I'm gonna fold this in half and pin it at the start so that it's easier to manage as I sew along taking my time going slow making sure the raw edges line up I'm gonna do a quarter inch around the perimeter of the neck casing And then with right sides facing together, I'm going to attach the neck casing to the top neckline of the bodysuit. With the neck casing, you're going to leave a little bit of the gap at the start um, or the end of your sewing. So you have somewhere to insert the elastic. And then I'm going to stitch along the seam line um, about a quarter of an inch. Once that all that is done, and now it's time to insert your elastic. Moving on, I'm going to take um, pattern piece number 18, which is the elastic guide, and I'm going to cut my elastic. And I'm going to take two safety pins, one at the start of the elastic and one at the end of the elastic, and I'm going to carefully guide the elastic through the neck casing until I, come to, until I have come all the way out the other end. And as I do this, I will pull and tug on the sleeve on the garment so that it unfurls and uncurls around itself. Because I had a little bit more elastic than needed, I went ahead and put a safety pin through the elastic where it came out on the other side. I tried on the bodysuit and played around with the fit and the stretch that I needed around my shoulders. Once I removed the bodysuit, I went ahead and cut away the extra parts of the elastic that I did not need. And now I'm going to stitch together the two ends so that they are connected and secure and they do not fray and tear over time. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and trim away your threads and then go and close the opening that you left to insert the elastic with a simple stay stitch. You, of course, can do a top stitch to secure down the elastic so it doesn't, doesn't move and bunch up over time. Because of the off-the-shoulder detail of this bodysuit, I, of course, added straps because I do not have a strapless bra. I'm going to insert a clip from the first time I created a bodysuit using this pattern. And after that, stylus, you're done. Thank you so very much for tuning in for another video. I hope you guys enjoy. I am so happy to be back to YouTube. I'm excited and so happy at how this turned out. I hope you guys love it. Please head on, please head on over to the Patreon page to see how I added the bell sleeve detail to this bodysuit. This is giving me so much summer boho chic vibes this is so 70s retro it's all those things in one i am feeling myself i am feeling this bodysuit i am loving this color and i hope you guys are too thank you so much for watching guys i love you guys so so much i know you have missed me and i've missed you as well thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe give this video a big thumbs up as well as follow full star inc on instagram twitter and facebook all right guys Love you guys so very much, but always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.